after a long day of adventuring, who doesn't want to stop at the local tavern for some gambling, storytelling, carousing, and of course, ale? Welcome to Red Dragon Inn. Red Dragon Inn is a card game for two to four players from Slugfest Games. Players will take on the role of an adventurer trying to one-up their opponents while taking their coin and buying them drinks. Will you be able to be the legend you've been proclaiming to the whole tavern? Or will you end up passed out under the table without a piece of gold to your name? Let's find out in Red Dragon Inn. Shuffle the drink deck and place it in the center of the table within reach of all players. Leave space for a discard pile. Each player will choose a character deck and take a player mat and a red and clear marker. Shuffle your character deck and place it face down on the corresponding spot on your player mat. Take 10 gold for your stash. If you're playing with two players, only take 8 gold, and if you're playing with 7 or more players, take 12 gold. Put the extra gold in a pile representing the end. Place the red marker on the 20 on your player mat and the clear marker on the 0. The red marker represents your fortitude, and the clear marker represents your alcohol content. Take a card from the drink deck and place it face down on the drink me space on your player mat. Do not look at this card, yet. Draw seven cards from your player deck to form your hand. Choose a player to go first. Now, you are ready to play. Your turn consists of four phases. Discard and draw, action, buy drinks, and drink. These phases must be done in order. During the discard and draw phase, you may discard any number of cards from your hand that you do not want, then draw back up to seven. You may not play any cards until you have finished drawing. If you draw the last card from your deck but still need more cards, shuffle the discard pile and place it face down on the spot on your player mat and continue drawing. If you do not want to discard, do not draw. In the action phase, you can play one action card. Action cards have the word action listed under the title and above the picture. When you play an action card, read the title of the card, give other players time to respond, then follow the instructions listed and discard the card. If you play a gambling I'm in card, this will start a round of gambling, but we will get to that in a little bit. Then you have to buy drinks for your friends, because drinking isn't fun without friends. Draw the top card from the drink deck and place it face down on any other player's drinking pile. Do not look at this card. You will not have to pay for the drink when you buy it like this. Finally, you have to drink. Flip over the top card in your drinking pile and follow the instructions listed on the card. Once you've had your drink, place the card in the drink discard pile. Drinks can do different things. If it has a mug with a number, you move your alcohol content up that many spots on the track. If it has a mug with a plus sign, that means you have to add a chaser. We will talk about that momentarily. If it has a heart with a positive number, you will gain that many spaces on the fortitude track. If it has a heart with a negative number, you will lose that many spaces on the fortitude track. If you have no drinks in your drink me pile when it comes time for you to drink, you sober up by moving your alcohol content down one. Once you have gone through all phases, play continues to the left. There are a few special cards in each deck. Sometimes, anytime, chaser cards, drinking contests, and gambling cards. Sometimes cards can only be played under certain conditions. The conditions are always listed on the card. You can play multiple sometimes cards in reaction to the same event. Anytime cards can be played at, you guessed it, anytime before or after the special action for that phase. For example, you can play an anytime card before you discard and draw or after you discard and draw, but not during the action itself. Chaser cards add drinks onto your regular drink cards. For example, if I drew this chaser card that adds three alcohol content, I would then draw the next drink from the pile and add its alcohol content of four. So I would move a total of seven spaces on my track. If that card is a chaser card as well, you continue the process. If you run out of cards from your drink me pile while drawing chasers, there is no effect, but you do not sober up. If you are drawing from the drink deck, just like your favorite tavern, they do not run out. Simply shuffle the discard pile and draw the top card from the deck. You can respond to drinks by playing cards that will negate the effects, but you must reveal all of the chasers first. Did you really go to the tavern if you didn't have a drinking contest? 
When a drinking contest card is revealed, that player will turn over the top card of the drink deck. If it is a drink event card, it has zero alcohol content. If you reveal a chaser card, continue revealing the cards until you have settled the chaser card. This continues in clockwise order. Once all players have revealed their cards, sometimes and anytime cards can be played to modify the alcohol content numbers. Whoever has the highest alcohol content wins and receives a gold from each of the other players. If the winner were to pass out during the drinking contest, they get the gold and then pass out. If there is a tie, the players tied will do this again until a definite winner has been revealed. What fun is drinking without a little gambling? When you play a gambling I'm in card, you start a round of, you guessed it, gambling. Normal play is suspended for the time being. Each player must ante one gold by placing it in the center of the table away from the gold in the end. The player who started the gambling is currently winning and in control. The player that is to the left of the in control player can now play either a gambling or cheating card or pass. If you play a card, you are now in control of the game. If you pass, you are still in the round of play, so you could still play a gambling card or cheating card later as long as the round does not end first. If you play a card that forces players to ante, but have no gold, no player has to add to the pot. If you run out of gold during gambling, you will ignore any card that forces you to ante. But if you lose or are forced out for any reason, you are out of gold and out of the game. The round ends if all but one player has passed. The winning player will take the antique gold and adds it to their stash. You can also win by playing a winning hand card. However, it can be negated by a cheating card. Play will continue with the buy drinks phase of the player who started the gambling. If your alcohol content is ever equal to or higher than your fortitude, you pass out. If you pass out, you are out of the game. Take your gold and split it in half. Give one half and any extra to the end. Then split the other half between the rest of the players. Any extra will go to the end. If you ever run out of gold, you can't buy drinks and are immediately out. The last player standing, or stumbling, is the winner. And that's Red Dragon Inn.